Hello, my name is Anand Rangarajan. I'm a product marketing manager in the 32-bit microcontroller division here at Microchip Technology. I'd like to talk about application migration using our award-winning software development framework, MP Lab Harmony, and its configurator, MHC. Embedded developers today are challenged not only with the time and resource constraints involved in developing an application, but also with the need to have the application work across multiple display platforms, each using different displays, graphic controller options, and microcontrollers. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how MP Lab Harmony can enable application migration in three easy steps. The application that's shown here is a basic graphics application with the USB and file system services. The D4 on display syncs with the onboard LED D4. The display prompts the user to insert the USB drive. Once the drive is inserted, a file in the drive is read and displayed to the screen. The application is shown working on the PIC32MZ Embedded Connectivity Starter Kit and a PIC32 Multimedia Expansion Board, or MEB2. This setup has a 200 MHz microcontroller, 4.3-inch WQVGA display, and low-cost controllerless graphics. Now, we will port this application to the PIC32 Ethernet Starter Kit 2 and a PIC32 Multimedia Expansion Board setup. This has an 80 MHz microcontroller, 3.2-inch QVGA display, and a graphics controller on board. To port this application using MPLab Harmony Configurator, the first step involved is to create a new configuration within the same project. The Manage Configuration option is used to create a new configuration name for the existing project. This enables the same application to be tied to more than one configuration or device type. After the new configuration name is chosen, the PIC32 device to which the application needs to be ported is picked from the drop-down menu along with the compiler options. When the newly created configuration is applied to the existing project, the MP Lab Harmony configurator restarts automatically to now configure the new PIC32 device settings to the existing application. The second step involves choosing the board support package for the board and clock settings for the new microcontroller. The application configuration is chosen based on the number of application state machines used. Next, the board support package specific to the microcontroller is picked. Notice the context-based help on the right providing a visual of the BSP. Now, the clock frequency and PLL settings are picked using the clock diagram tab of the MPLAB Harmony configurator. The third step is to configure the drivers and the application libraries for this configuration. The drivers are in the Harmony Framework Configuration option. The USR driver settings are now picked. The context-sensitive help enables the user to get detailed configuration options on the USR. The graphics library is now enabled for this configuration. The USB library is later enabled and mode settings are configured. Care should be taken to ensure that the correct configuration settings are replicated across all configuration options for the same application. The code is now generated, built, and compiled, and voila, the application is ported without writing a single line of code. The award-winning MP Lab Harmony framework with its configurator has enabled application migration across boards with different microcontrollers, displays, and graphics controller options without a single line of code being written. Just a few mouse clicks, saving the developer time and resource. For more information on the MPLab Harmony Integrated Software Framework and the MPLab Harmony Configurator MHC, please visit microchip.com/harmony. Thanks for watching.